ladies and gents, Jack here. Uh, I thought it would be quite interesting with these two guitars that you're going to be hearing in the course of this video, just to offer up a proper introduction for them and a couple of my thoughts as well, which I don't get to do often with many guitars, but I really felt that these new 58 Epiphone Carina V and Explorer guitars kind of deserved it. What's really interesting about this is that Carina is one of those woods that Gibson used for a very short period of time back in 58, and those original Gibsons, the Vs and the Explorers, are now probably right up the top with the bursts, probably even beyond the bursts as being the most desirable, the most collectible, and the rarest, and certainly the fewest numbers of those guitars from that time. And not only do they look really visually unique, they have this very unique sonic character as well, and that's largely attributed to the bodywood, the Carina. And previously, the only way to get a modern recreation or reinterpretation of that sound and that look was to go for the very expensive, but still undoubtedly beautiful Gibson Custom Shop Murphy Lab experience with those guitars. Now, those are only gonna be accessible to very few people, unfortunately, because they are true works of art and they are priced accordingly. But it's now interesting that kind of almost at the opposite end of the spectrum, you now get access to the Carina experience. Now, you may be thinking that it's a little bit of a, a buzzword, an easy tagline, and not much has changed from a regular mahogany body guitar. But the fact remains that those guitars aren't really made by Epiphone or indeed Gibson in any other guise at the moment, regardless of the bodywood and the aesthetic choices that they make. So if you want to get a V or an Explorer, you really have surprisingly few choices, especially compared to the Les Pauls and the SGs and all that. There's tons of choices with those. But now for Epiphone to be releasing the Carina version of the 58 V and Explorer, I think it's kind of testament to how important that particular tonal wood choice is to the design of those guitars as they were originally introduced that way back in 58. But it also shows that they want to get them into the hands of more and more players like yourself. All right, so a very quick spec run through for you and you're gonna see some beautiful B-roll of the guitars as I am doing so. So obviously equipped with Carina wood for the body and the neck. You've got 58 Flying V and Explorer neck profiles, of course, respectively. Indian Laurel for the fingerboard. You've got custom shop level Burst Bucker 2 and Burst Bucker 3 pickups in the neck and the bridge, respectively. You've also got higher grade CTS pots and Mallory Capacitors. And I think it's worth pointing out as well that you do get a hard shell case, so you don't always get that with sometimes even more expensive Gibson guitars. Epiphone really do kind of look out for the full player package, so if you want to take this out to gig, which of course you probably will do if you are able to do so, you've got a hard shell case to back you up.
ocarina is neither one way or another. To me, the biggest, most distinct thing about these guitars is what the body shapes does to the tone. So an Explorer and a V, they're two of the most unique sounding guitars out there. They have this really strong sonic character. And it's all about the mid range. And the Carina obviously plays a part in that as well. But really, it's just that body shape. So if you're comfortable sitting with those designs or indeed playing with, the, with a strap, if you can get around the comfortability factor of those body designs, because they are pretty big, they just sound fantastic. They sound so unique. And you're going to hear that in the clips. I think they have a really kind of vocal-like quality. The burst bucket pickups obviously help with that. And the Carina is obviously playing a large part in that as well. The fact that they've decided to only go with Carina models um, to celebrate this, this 58 reissue, which by the way is 65 years old this year. This guitar, the, both of these guitar designs are now 65 years old. It's pretty cool that they've come back in this unique way with the Carina wood body and neck and the unique finishes that come there with. But that's kind of enough waffling for me. I'm gonna let the tones do most of the talking. These things sound great, these things feel great but I'd like to know your thoughts. So let me know down in the comments what you think about the new 58 Epiphone Carina V and Carina Explorer. Do you like them? Do you love them? Do you hate them? Either way, just let us know down in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching. And if you want to find out more information about either of these guitars or indeed any other Epiphone or Gibson products, you can of course do so by going to our website via the link below. So thank you very much for watching. Please leave a like if you've enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you again very soon.